Good morning, Alex. How are you? Congratulations on your deal with Fulcrum Metals. Let's start there. Good morning, Tracy. Good to have you uh, with us. Uh, it's yeah, it's a great thing. Two weeks ago, we announced the closure of the uh, option uh, option agreement with Fulcrum Metals PLC. Uh, it was a process that lasted about three months. Obviously, you know, paperwork and everything. But I'm really happy now that we have finally completed uh, option agreement, which allows Terra to acquire 100% ownership of a 600 square kilometer portfolio in Saskatchewan, uh, at the Alaska Basin. And we look forward to starting field work in September. I don't often tell our audience to take a look at, at our CEO's background, but I recommend everyone go check out Alexander's, and did I pronounce that properly, uh, yep. background. Well, now, thank you very I much. The reason I mention this is that we had you in the upcoming CMI Summit in the quest for the global search for critical minerals, because you're right out there. In addition to picking up a uranium uh, prospect in the Athabasca Basin, you're in Serbia. Tell us what's in Serbia and why we should all be following what you're doing. That's precisely right. Terra Volcanica happens to be exposed to what I believe are four critical uh, metals, uh, one of them being energy mineral, obviously uranium, uh, going forward. So we have exposure to copper, gold, silver, and uranium. In Serbia and Bosnia, we have a portfolio of about 250 square kilometers. And uh, to sum it up, really in Bosnia, it's all about high-grade silver close to surface, shallow high-grade silver system. Whereas in Serbia, we have identical situation, except it's not silver, it's actually gold. That gold uh, uh, in Serbia is connected in our belief with a uh, porphyry copper system. So therefore the Serbian story is really porphyry copper, epithermal gold, high grade and surface. And that's exactly what Terra Volcanica will be drilling in the next two months. Uh, I'm heading overseas in about 10 days and we'll be meeting with both the uh, um, crew that's gonna do the uh, geological logging or uh, of the core, as well as the drilling crew that's gonna execute the drilling. We're looking at about 1,200 meter drill program in Serbia to try to intercept these high-grade gold bands and see what we come up with. And of course, I've watched you achieve milestones incredibly efficiently. Can you tell us what shareholders or stakeholders should be looking forward to in the next quarter or two? Yeah, that's an excellent question. So I'm really excited about the upcoming three, three four months. So we're going to close the current financing. We are probably looking for another week or so of uh, time left to uh, reach that $1.4 million mark uh, at the current uh, 10 cent price. Uh, and then after that, uh, we are hoping to um, really start uh, issuing press releases uh, related to both uh, uh, last year's work as well as the upcoming work. So what do shareholders and everybody else who's following Terra uh, can expect? Well, we're gonna commence, as I said, uh, field work in, Sask in Saskatchewan in the flagship property Charlotte Neely sometime in September. We'll also probably land on Fontaine Lake and Snowbird, two other properties as a part of our uranium portfolio. We're going to commence the drilling in Serbia. So that 1,200 meters of, of drill program in Serbia. And all of that is going to create, let's say, about a dozen or so really robust news releases. We're going to be issuing them, obviously, as we proceed. And hopefully that's going to reflect upon a share price immediately. At some point in the future, Terra is hoping to initiate a financing, obviously at much higher levels, uh, that is going to support our ambitious goals in Saskatchewan. So uh, obviously, probably some sort of flow through financing, but obviously we first need to execute a couple of primary steps before we get to that stage. And of course, your model is fairly, your shares outstanding are fairly tight, if I recall. Can you give Investor News audiences kind of a recap on what's going on with your actual business model? For sure. So uh, as uh, recently as two months ago, we have completed uh, corporate consolidation, shareholder consolidation. We've rolled back uh, ratio three to one. So we had about 100 million shares outstanding. Subsequent to the rollback, we have 33.5. Obviously, we've issued some shares during the current financing. So we are currently sitting at about 41 million shares. Uh, as a part of the deal, uh, which was also press released, uh, we've given uh, 3 million shares to Fulcrum Metals PLC. So we're sitting at 44. So fairly, fairly tight structure. 
one thing I also would like to emphasize is the fact that 70% of the entire float is held by the management board directors and closely associated parties. So it's a tightly held stock. Uh, we want to be very considerate uh, who gets into this current round of financing, obviously, because it's given at a, you know fairly favorable conditions. And then obviously build on that, use the capital and proceeds from that to execute in both Saskatchewan and Bosnia. Oh, sorry, sorry, I should say Serbia. So a question for you. If this project in Saskatchewan was so amazing, how did you talk Fulcrum into selling it to you? I mean, I'll be completely frank, uh, uh, Tracy. Uh, it kind of came accidentally into my lap. And once it did, I didn't want to let it go. Uh, so it came through the management, through the board. One of our board members passed it over to me and said, Alex, what do you think of it? I took a look at it and I'm like, oh, this is pretty amazing. What are the conditions? Once I heard the conditions and the terms of the deal, I liked it even more. So it made business sense for us to really enter into that deal. Uh, I can't speak for Fulcrum, but my understanding is their focus lies elsewhere. I think they want to focus on diversifying their portfolio and uh, uh, probably spearheaded by their efforts to extract metals from mine tailings in Ontario. So that seems to be their primary focus. Whereas obviously, you know, we do have expertise on, you know, detecting good targets and drilling them in Bosnia and Serbia, as we have shown. So it kind of made sense for them to be part of the story, piggyback on us and for us to actually execute on the ground. And I really look forward to it. I mean, we did not pick up this portfolio just to flip it over to somebody else. That's not the game, game, game plan. We want to actually add value. We want to do airborne geophysics. We want to detect the targets and we want to drill them next year. So for everybody out there seeking more information on Terra Bellicanica, go to their website or send us an email and we'll introduce you. Thank you so much for joining us today, Alex. Thank you very much, Tracy.